I've been working on the track here, as you can see, moving some dirt, filling some things in. I really brought this hairpin turn in. I still have to mold a lot of this uh, clay slash dirt into a perfect round circle. But also over this hump here, you can see I have some raking to do, but everything's still kind of very damp and heavy. Not a big deal though. For those that are viewers of the show, regular viewers, you'll actually see that I've raised this whole corner uh, quite a bit on the straightaway. In fact, get you out of the wind here. You can see how much I have raised this corner as well as this area. This will help for uh, keeping water off of this side because a lot of water comes down here in pools, but now it won't pool on the track. Look how high the hairpin is now, hey? So much better. But let's bring the fifth scale down here. Project Large. This is the first time I'm running it this year. Still have to tune it, but I want to get it out and see how she does. Yeah, it's a little bit muddy today. Not too bad though. In three, two, one. <laughs> This clay slash mud, it's like soil and clay, sure can clump onto your boots uh, when it's wet. Same with the tires. But I'm gonna get up here and do a secondary shot for you coming around the edge. Too bad I didn't get this crash on camera, but I seem to have lost my steering 100%. Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, that's easy. Just my uh, screw for the steering servo came out. Finally, the good weather is upon us and spring has started and everything is melting and drying out. I'm sure we'll still get another uh, skiff of snow here and there and uh, then the rainy season starts. But in the meantime, I wanted to get outside and rip with Project Large 2.0 and really just see what kind of ha uh, power it has after sitting there for uh, the winter season. Got plenty of power. A lot of people might think these trucks are, you know, slow. But I gotta tell you, weighing close to 50 pounds, you don't want one of these things hitting you in the leg. And uh, top speed on this engine, I don't know. It's not quite broken in, but almost. So many of you must be wondering about uh, my Vector 5 because we've had to uh, delay the build a little bit only because of the weather, waiting on some parts and everything. But I know if this is a fifth scale video, all the folks that watch the show regular are like, Vector 5! And yes, my friends, we do have it scheduled. In fact, here you guys can have a sneak peek at the wrap. Look at this! Done by my buddy uh, Paul at Immersion Design went in, did the entire wrap for us in a chrome. You're gonna be seeing more of this truck. That's all, that's all you get, a sneak peek, because we got some things going back on to the, uh, uh, to the truck itself, but they are upgraded parts, some strengthening parts, 
And we got a killer set of rims from davesmotors.com uh, or DDM for those that know it. And we're gonna be installing those as well. Plus the engine is here. Uh, so that's coming up on the show, but let's get back out to Project Large 2.0. A little squeaky, but she'll do. Oh yeah, oh, I even got a front link loose, so I'm gonna have to fix that right now too. Now I'll let it run and warm up because it's been sitting here for 10 minutes. terrible driving that killed it today it is my first time out on the track um, this season but no excuse it wasn't too bad of a hit but I'm assuming that this arm had already taken some hits before uh, let's have a look up close Ugh. yeah well that's what I expected hey Look at that, bad driving guys, sorry. I wanted to have like the most epic fifth scale video for you today, but um, you know, when you're new on the track, it's a new season, you're a little rusty, you know, you can take some flips and some jumps a little bit too hard, and that's what happened today. You can see here's the other full arm looking nice and attached, but you can also see that where it broke, uh, it did have quite a bit of um, strength in there, but of course, trying to make the vehicle lighter they kind of punch out these holes and instead of leaving this nice and solid you get these snapping points which you know if they were uh uh, yeah, one can speculate that this is exactly why there are spare parts out there because no matter how thick you make them, no matter how terrible your jump or good your jump may be, you're going to snap an arm. Uh, not a big deal though. I've got some extra arms here. I'm just not able to replace it today. But, ugh, that's my lesson for getting out and playing with fifth scale. Now that's the first time that arm has ever broken and I've been running this machine for about two years so I'm not too surprised uh, that it snapped. It was about time, especially after all the abuse that I've put this through, the big dirty and all that. But I'll get in there, swap out the arm. It just takes a few minutes, well, 20 minutes if I could uh, be realistic about it. But there you are, Project Large 2.0 and my friends. I've tried so many different shots for you today that unfortunately didn't work, but it's new in the season. Uh, the track definitely needs to be groomed properly. And uh, I think to end this video out, I'm gonna go and get my uh, RC skid steer. I do have a full size RC skid steer. If you guys wanna see onboard footage or more footage of uh, Project Large or any other fifth scales, you guys can check out our Big Dirty series. Also, the Little Dirty is available for you to see.